The world is a complex place. We are constantly hearing news of conflicts and wars around the world. But can Russia really be the cause of the next world war? In this video, I will discuss why Russia may have the potential to start the third world war. Hi everyone, it's great to see you here again. Today, I am going to be talking about what could possibly trigger a third world war and whether or not it could be Russia. Now, before we jump into this discussion, let me give you some background information on Russia and its current political climate. Russia is one of the most powerful countries in the world, with a vast military force and strong economic power. It has also been involved in numerous conflicts throughout history, from its involvement in World War II to its recent involvement in Syria's civil war. As such, many people believe that Russia has the potential to become a major player in any global conflict, even if it means starting a new world war. So what are some of the factors that could lead to a third world war? One of these factors is political instability. If there is unrest within a country, then it could lead to further conflict between nations. For example, over the past few years, we have seen an increase in tension between Russia and Ukraine due to their differences over Crimea, an area which both countries claim as their own territory. This tension could potentially escalate into a larger conflict that involves other countries as well. Another factor that could lead to war is economic competition. When two or more countries are competing for resources or markets, this can often cause tensions between them as they try to gain an advantage over each other. This has been particularly evident lately with regards to us-Russia relations. Both countries have been engaged in economic sanctions against each other due to their differences over issues such as energy production and foreign policy decisions. Finally, we cannot ignore the role that nationalism plays in international affairs. When one nation feels threatened by another nation's actions or ambitions, then it can often lead to increased aggression or even war. This has been particularly apparent with regards to Russian President Vladimir Putin's attempts at expanding Russian influence abroad. His aggressive tactics have led many nations, including NATO members, to view Russia as a threat and take action accordingly. All these factors combined make it easy for us to understand why so many people think that Russia might be capable of starting a third world war. But does this mean that it is actually likely? Well, it depends on who you ask. Some analysts believe that while there is certainly potential for conflict between Russia and other nations, it would take something truly catastrophic for this hypothetical war scenario actually come into fruition. Something like an attack on another nation's soil or an attempted invasion by Russian forces would be necessary for things to reach such an extreme level of violence and destruction. That being said, there are still steps that can be taken now in order to prevent any kind of large-scale war from breaking out in the future. Firstly, governments must work together diplomatically rather than resorting immediately to military action when faced with disagreements. Secondly, economic competition should be managed through fair trade agreements rather than through sanctions. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, nations must strive towards mutual understanding rather than promoting nationalist ideologies which only serve to deepen existing divisions between countries. If these steps are taken, then hopefully we will never need to worry about facing another world war ever again. Given the importance of the geopolitical situation in the modern world, it is easy to understand why so many people are worried that Russia might start a third world war. Not only does the country have a powerful military and economic power, but it has also been frequently involved in conflicts throughout history. From its involvement in World War II to its more recent involvement in Syria's civil war, it is clear that Russia has the potential to cause a lot of destruction and chaos on the world stage. However, it is important to note that a third world war is not necessarily inevitable. If nations can work together diplomatically and manage economic competition through fair trade agreements, then the possibility of a large-scale conflict can be greatly reduced. Additionally, it is paramount that governments focus on mutual understanding and respect between nations in order to avoid promoting any kind of dangerous nationalist ideologies. Yet, many still worry that no amount of diplomacy or economic cooperation will be able to stop certain nations from escalating tensions. They believe that only true strength can deter aggression from abroad, and that maybe only by preparing for battle can people avoid having it thrust upon them. In the end, it is clear that no one wants another world war, 
and so it is up to us all to work towards peace and understanding instead. However, there will always be those who argue otherwise. Those who believe that no amount of diplomacy or economic cooperation will ever stop certain nations from escalating tensions until they reach boiling point. Those who think that only true strength can deter aggression from enemies abroad. Those who think that maybe only by preparing ourselves for battle can we avoid having it thrust upon us. But whatever your opinion may be on this matter, one thing remains certain. No one wants another world war. So let's all do our part in working towards peace instead. That being said, there are still steps that can be taken now in order to prevent any kind of large-scale war from breaking out in the future. Governments must work together diplomatically rather than resorting immediately resorting to military action when faced with disagreements. Yet, some argue that no amount of diplomacy or economic cooperation will be able to stop certain nations from escalating tensions. They believe that only true strength can deter aggression from abroad and that maybe only by preparing for battle can people avoid having it thrust upon them. Although this may be true, it is still important to strive for peace and understanding instead. After all, no one wants another world war, and so it is up to us all to work towards it. In this regard, it is important for us all to stay informed and aware of the geopolitical situation and to take active steps in promoting peace in our own countries and in the world. Additionally, we should all be aware of the potential consequences of any military action and ensure that we do not end up in an even worse situation than before. So, what do you think? Could Russia really start World War III? Let me know your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks again for watching my show today everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you want more videos like this one, then make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future shows. See you soon.